Hello, welcome all. Today we will see about a very one important concept in Java that is interface. We know that in object oriented programming paradigm or approach, the important concept is reusability of code, which helps in dividing the project in the modular programming, of course, which will save the development time, the testing time, designing time, and the complexity code will be reduced. And this reusability feature is implemented with the help of inheritance. We know that inheritance is the process of acquiring properties of one class using object of another class. In Java, multiple inheritance is not directly supported. It is supported with the help of interface only. If there are multiple classes in our program and if classes are using or accessing properties of classes, different classes in their own class, according to their relationship, there are five types of inheritance, single, multi-level, hierarchical, multiple and hybrid. So, we will see one example over here. Now, consider this example, which is of multiple inheritance type. Now, here, one class is derived from more than one base classes. So, this is example of multiple inheritance. Consider a scenario where this class A is having a show method and this class B is having show method and both methods are having same name as well as same signature or prototype. It means both methods are having the number of argument or type of argument as the same and written type of function is also same. But both are performing different tasks. So we know that as per inheritance, we create object of only derived class like C OB is equal to new C. And this derived class object is used to call or access the properties of the base classes. This is the definition of inheritance. So when the show method is called by using object of C class like ob.show, what do you think what will be the output? Now here the compiler gets confused. Which show method to be called? because C is derived from A as well as B. So calling or accessing both show methods of both the classes is a valid statement because C is inherited from both the classes. So syntactically there seems no error. So compiler gets confused which body to link with function call at the time of compilation. There is a complete ambiguity. This is the reason why Java is not supporting multiple inheritance directly. Now we will see why this has happened because we know that in Java, whenever we define a class, the definition of class includes variables and the body of the functions which we use in the class. It means we need to define the body of the function inside the class only. In C++, we were writing the body of the function outside the class using scope resolution operator. But in Java, that's not possible. We have to write the function or method body in the class itself. It means here the problem is arised because of the reason that both are the classes. So can we have a solution for this? Instead of one class, can we have another concept which will be like a class? Yes. Now, as per the class, the class includes the variable declaration and the method has to be defined in the class only. The body of the method should be inside the class only. Now, solution is Instead of class, we have one more concept which is very similar to class that is interface. This interface is having variables, but importantly difference is that this interface 
holds or consists of only method declaration no method definition is allowed no writing of body of the function is allowed in the interface so this will solve our purpose of implementing multiple inheritance in java now how to write interface interface is the keyword in front of that we have to give interface name here we can have access specifier like private public protected etc and the data type of variable and the name of the variable you can have n number of variable give access specifier for the method the return type of the method method name 1 up to n you can declare number of methods inside the interface if you can observe here the method is declared only its body should not be written in the interface interface is similar to class which is also a container or user defined data type interface is also a user defined data type which is a collection of variable and only method declaration now once we have written the interface how to use it the class which want which want to use the properties of interface like variable or method how that class can be written class class name if that class is deriving a class we can write extends its super class name which is optional one implements is the keyword to use the interface and the name of interface if you have multiple interface to be implemented by this class that can be separated by commas and regular body of the class can be written now let's see we will implement this code if you can observe this type of inheritance over here this is example of hybrid inheritance because this side it shows it is a multi level inheritance over here we have multiple inheritance like test sports and result and here we can see the single type as well where here is sport and here is result class but this is not implementable if we have test as a class and sport as a class only correct so for implementing this multiple inheritance out of these two classes one should be interface which will allow the method declaration only so we have declared this port as a interface instead of a class so how we can write this code let's see we will implement the code for this we have to write a base class student with get no and put no means the roll number let's write that class import java dot io dot star we will write class stood suppose here i need variable roll number and uh, what are the methods over here get no and put no it means we have to read and we have to display so i am declaring variable data input stream d is equal to new data input stream in bracket system dot in we can have method get no in front of that we should write throws exception because we are going to use read line method we will write here message system dot out dot print l enter roll number after that we have to assign roll number in rn by converting it into integer by using integer wrapper class and its method parse int d dot read line get no complete now we have to display 
roll number so we are using method as put no where we are displaying roll number is equal to our roll number is in rn variable so we have to close student class now now as per diagram test is derived from student class having s1 and s2 variable and two methods get m for marks put m for displaying marks let's see we will write class test as it is derived arrow is coming coming from student class only so we will write class test extends student and here we have to declare two variable s1 comma s2 and we have to write method like get m enter marks of two subjects we have to read marks of subject one in s1 same we will copy for s2 input m function we will display the marks of both subject marks of subject one in s1 same for subject two and class close we have we have declared data input stream class object in student class so there is no need to write or declare again here data input stream object that above d variable is applicable here in the test class because it is derived from student class so members of this base class is directly accessible in the derived class by using name only so we have written test class now we have to write the result class but for result class if you can observe over here the arrow is coming from test class and from interface so if we have written a test class but for writing this class we need to write interface first so this interface port is having sports weightage and put wt method so how to write interface so interface is written with the keyword interface name of the interface is given as a sport we have to declare variable suppose sports weightage sports wt weightage and there is method put wt so i am writing void put wt but this put wt should be declared only no definition is allowed in the interface so close the interface now now we have to write this result class arrow is coming from class test and arrow is coming from interface sport so how to write this result class so first of all we will write class result as it is derived so extends will come first extends from which class test and it is using interface so interface using is written by writing keyword implements implements the name of the interface is sport it means the result class is extending test class and it is using implementing the interface sport opening curly bracket what are the variables over here total variable and display method so we will declare total variable and display method but before that the responsibility of this result class is that as it is using the interface sports so in sports if we have put wt method declared so who will write the body of this method it's responsibility of result class because this result class is using or implementing the sports interface so first we will write the public keyword compulsorily void and the name of this method put wt we have to write the body of this method 
so here we can set sport wt is equal to suppose 20 marks and if we want to display the sports marks or sports weightage sports marks is equal to sport wt close the body of this method now we can write the display method void display and we have to perform the calculation s1 plus s2 plus sport wt and store the result in total variable so total is equal to s1 plus s2 plus sport weight and we have to display the total marks is equal to total is equal to which is available in total variable display function close class close now apart from this diagram we will write one class which will hold the main function suppose demo 2 which will hold the main method public static void main write throws exception because we are calling above methods over here so in the main method as per this diagram if we can see there is derived class result so we have to create object of result class only and we can call the method of rest of the classes using this object of result class so we will create object of result r is equal to new result and we will see the sequence first of all we have to call get no put no then get m put m then put wt then put wt and display okay so r dot get no r dot get m for marks r dot put wt which is for sports marks and then r dot put no now we have set all the variables over here now we will call the display kind of methods put no then r dot put m then r dot put wt is already done at the end we will call r dot display main close class close save the code with class name dot java demo 2 dot java we will compile the code int sport wt now remember in uh, interface whenever we declare a variable in the interface that variables are treated as a final variable we know that final variables are the variable whose value cannot be changed throughout the code so even if you don't write here as a final keyword still these variable inside the interface are treated as a final so we have to assign value over here only and we can remove this from the method now let's see the code now the code is compiled run the code enter rule number enter marks of subject 1 subject 2 see the sports marks is equal to 20 rule number is 11 marks of subject 1 23 subject 2 45 so 23 plus 45 is equal to 68 plus sports marks is equal to 20 so total is equal to 88 so remember while implementing 
मल्टीपल काइंड ऑफ क्लास हाइरार्की देर हैज टू बी वन क्लास एंड वन इंटरफेस इंटरफेस अलवेज कंसिस्ट ऑफ द वेरिएबल एंड मेथड डिक्लरेशन ओनली इट मीन्स द एब्सट्रैक्ट मेथड्स ओनली इट मीन्स देर इज नो मेथड बॉडी then who will write the body of the method which are declared inside the interface the class which uses or implements that interface will write the body of that method just write public in front of that method body the variable which are declared inside the interface are treated as a final variable even though we don't write final keyword over there so we have to assign a value to variable inside the interface so this is the demonstration of interface in java so we have seen multiple inheritance multiple inheritance means when a class is derived from more than one classes but in java it is not supported directly because of the reason that i had demonstrated in the earlier slide so solution is we can use interface to implement the multiple inheritance in java what is interface it is a user defined data type which is a collection of final variables and abstract methods only what are the characteristics of interface interface is very similar to class it starts with the interface keyword the variable which are inside the interface are treated as a final variable whose value cannot be changed and interface will always have abstract methods only it means it will have method declaration only no method body writing in the interface is allowed so who will write the body of the method of the interface the class which is implementing that interface will write the body of the method declared inside the interface what is the difference between class and interface both are of user defined data type class will have simple variable and it may or may not have final variable interface variables are always treated as a final variable even though final keyword is not written over there class cannot have can not have abstract methods it means class cannot have method declaration it means there has to be method body inside the class opposite to that interface always will have only abstract method it means it will always have the method declaration only we can create object of interface sorry we can create object of class but we cannot create object of interface class is extended by using extends keyword and interface is used by using implements keyword so hope you have understood the concept of multiple inheritance through the concept of interface in java hope you have liked the session See you in the next session. Thank you.